So I bought a new indicator that I uh, want to use as a Z-axis DRO, and I'll show you that in a minute. But the problem I had with it is I want to put a mag base on the back of it. And it's just one of those uh, mag bases you can get, you know, usual places, eBay, Amazon, whatever. Uh, and it comes with its own backing plate that it just screws into. And that's fine and all. Um, however, the new indicator, the backing plate is doesn't quite fit it. It will fit, the screws will go, go in, but it leaves a little bit of a gap around the edge and it's a digital. So I don't want any gaps around the, the rear edge of it because that can let stuff in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new plate, this piece, and do something with the screw. I'm not sure what I'm going to do there yet, but uh, let's see what happens.
Okay, so we got it on there. I made it a little bit thicker, as you can see, as you saw. And uh, I used some screws from a kit that I bought that were a little bit longer. Um, I thought that'd just be a little bit more sturdy than that thin piece that they had. So uh, let's try it out. So basically what I bought this for was to use it, like I said, on the Z-axis. And just a quick way to reference a cut. So let's say... Uh, Let's say I want to make a half inch cut. I got a real quick way to know that it's a half inch. There's a little over a half inch. Now I did. I was using a dial caliper to do this, and and the dial caliper's fine, except if I'm making a cut that's over a a uh, hundred thousandths of an inch, you have to use the small dial. And I noticed when I was making that little uh, valve removal tool that um, that was really annoying to keep track of, and it, I actually made a bozo on the part. With this, I got a straight reading. I know that I can zero it, and then. I can say, okay, I want to come out a half inch. I want to come out three quarters of an inch. I, I want to come out, you know, anything in between. It's got an inch of travel. I would have preferred uh, a little bit more travel, but but uh, it's okay. I got a really good deal on it. It's actually used, um, but there, this particular brand is not cheap. It is a, a Chinese made, but. Uh, it seems to be very well made. It's got a nice, nice movement. And, uh, you know, we'll give it a shot and uh, see how it works. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching this little quick modification. And uh, remember, as always, subscribe if you like what you see. And um, like the video if you like the video. I uh, appreciate you watching. Thanks. Bye.